let's start off with the absorption. Okay, what is actually absorption? Okay, so you can imagine that the incident wave, they actually hit the shoe. Okay, so the EM wave, they actually hit the shoe. Those that actually not reflected, okay, imagine some will be reflected, but those that were not reflected, they will try to penetrate the shoe material. Okay, so basically over here, you can see that they will try to penetrate the shoe. Okay, so absorption effectiveness actually increased with shoe thickness. Basically, the shielding effectiveness actually measure okay, how much actually land into this part of the world. Okay, so these are all the incident waves. How much actually land into this part of the world will be able to anticipate how good will be the absorption. So from here, okay, you know that there are several parameters that control the absorption. Firstly, okay, will be the shoe thickness. Again, you can imagine that the thicker the shoe, okay, so therefore you will have a going to have a very good absorption. Lesser EM wave will be able to land into this part of the world. Next will be on frequency. Again, you can imagine that the higher the frequency, lesser EM wave will be able to land in this region of the world. Last but not least, the choice of material is also important because by choosing the choice of the material, you actually control the conductivity and also the permeability. Okay, so all these okay, materials, okay, basically they are very good if you consider to absorb the magnetic field. Next will be on the refraction. Okay, so I guess more or less you understand the meaning of refraction. Okay, so basically the shield over here, they in fact will be adding like a mirror. Okay, so what happened here is basically again with the incident wave, if this is a mirror, it will be reflected back here. Okay, so basically this is what it means. The shield act as a mirror, reflecting the incoming electromagnetic wave, and hence lesser EM wave will be able to land into this part of the world. Okay, so why we have this refraction? This is mainly because of mismatch mismatch of the impedance of the air and also the impedance of the material because there's a strong mismatch so hence refraction actually occur okay so basically this is the key property of refraction most of the time the choice of material will be good conductor okay so basically with good conductor majority will be reflected back and hence okay this refraction method is actually very effective when we want to antenna away the electric field and also the brain wave okay last but not least on the multiple reflection. What is actually multiple reflection? Okay, again, let me explain with an example. Okay, for example, this is actually the incident wave. Okay, so like what is so early on with the absorption, okay, so basically with absorption, when they actually land to another boundary, some may be reflected back. Can you imagine this? Some will be reflected back, some will be able to land into this zone over here. Those who reflected back, again, you can imagine that once they hit another boundary, again, it may be reflected back, and in the result, some of them actually leak out. Okay, so basically, this is what we call this multiple refraction. And definitely not the first time. And you can imagine that 